How's it going everybody? Today I got a quick little video for you showing you how to get the total lines of code in your Xcode project. Now, what use is that? I don't know, I'm just curious. Maybe you're doing a big refactor and you want a before and after snapshot to see how you know how many lines of code the refactor cut out. Maybe you're just curious, I don't know, maybe it's not even that useful to you. Now, before I start, I got to give credit to uh, Alexander Aldemare uh, for this quick little Medium post. Showed me how to do this. Thought I'd make a quick little video out of it, but the link will be in the description. And then I know I'm going to get asked a thousand times what uh, command line thing I'm using. It's this thing called Oh My ZSH. Real quick and easy to download. Uh, I'll put the link to that in the description as well. And then I'm sure everybody's going to share their terminal preference or you should use iTerm. You should do this. I'm not that concerned about it. So anyway, let's dive in. The first thing you need to do is navigate to your directory. So as you can see, I'm just starting off here. Uh, for, let me also back up and say, I am not a command line expert, a very novice in fact. So please don't bash my command line skills. Uh, that's not what I'm here for. So anyway, let's dive in. And so we want to navigate to whatever directory our Xcode project is in. So CD is change directory, mine is desktop. Uh, you can just tab to autocomplete, hit enter, uh, just in case you are a complete command line newbie. Uh, and again, CD, that's called Terra. That's kind of the name of the project I'm on. And now you can see I'm in on the dev branch. And this is what uh, oh my ZSH gives you, is this color coding and the branches and all that good stuff. Uh, so now that I'm here, I just put in this uh, command here. By the way, you can hit up or down for your previous commands. And I didn't want to type this out because as you can see, I probably have a typo and it'd be embarrassing on film. But there's two options as you'll see in that um, uh, article. You can do it uh, looking through your pods and ignoring your pods. So uh, basically what this line of code here is, is doing, and again, I'm not a command line expert, but I'll show you how afterwards you can kind of look up some of this stuff. But essentially, uh, a find is how you dig through your directories. Um, we want to basically prune out, which means we're not going to go into the pods folder. We're looking for things with the name. Uh, this star is kind of like the asterisk, like the wild card. So anything that ends in dot swift is what we're looking for. Uh, and then we want to print that out, essentially. Uh, so and one quick little thing, my coworker, when he did this, uh, he had double quotes here were fine for him. Me using uh, and he used I term. I use just the basic terminal that comes with the Mac and this oh my ZSH and I needed single ticks like double quotes didn't work for me. So one little piece there. But uh, yeah, that's basically what we're doing. So this is the one that ignores pods. So I hit enter and it's going to print out every single .swift file in this directory, uh, as you can see here. And uh, down here at the bottom, I'll zoom in on it, but I have 6,100 lines of code. Now we are still in development. We're not launching till Q1 of 2019. I expect this to go up to, I don't know, 15,000 to 20,000 because we still got a lot of work to do on the game. But uh, yeah, you can kind of see, and here on the left, this is like the number number lines of code. As you can see, I like to keep my files nice and tidy. <laughs> I said this before, if I get over 200 lines of code, I start to freak out. Uh, the only ones that are like super big here are my like base game screen. And that's just because that's where all the logic for the game goes. And that can be refactored. Again, we're still in development. But uh, yeah, so just interesting. You get each uh, file's line of code and then also the total. So now let's see the impact pods have. Uh, and this kind of should really drill home why you should limit your dependencies in your app because there's a lot of bloat in dependencies that you may not need and we're going to see. So now if I just do up, up, up till we get to the one uh, that doesn't ignore the pods. So you can see here in the bottom uh, and again, I'll zoom in because it might be low in the bottom. Basically, now we're not we're no longer ignoring the pods. We're going to go into the pods. So hit enter and it printed off uh, kind of the same thing, you know, except now this is gonna include all my pods. And now you can see some hefty files in here, like a 2000 line <laughs> file. Uh, and then again, this is charts. So I'm using iOS charts. Uh, I think it's just called charts now. Um, uh, library, it's a very common charting library, but you can see here that's, that bulks it up. But the key here is now we went from 6,100 lines of code to over 55,000 lines of code when you bring in the dependencies. And I'm only using five dependencies and then it's pretty much the, the standard ones, you know, Alamo Fire, Charts, uh, Drift, which is like a customer service, like drop in. Uh, so I, this isn't, I think there's like five dependencies total in the project. So it's not like there's 30 dependencies here. So that really drives the point home that be careful what dependencies you use because that almost 10 X the number of lines of codes in my project. And then lastly, if you are curious, like what all these command line commands do, uh, there's a command called man short for manual. So if I did man find, pulls out the manual and then you can just kind of scroll through here. Uh, for example, we, we use that prune 
uh, command. If you want to, if you're curious what that was, I guess I could have searched, but you know, here it is prune. This tells you what it does. It causes the find to not descend into the current file. And you remember we designated that dot pods file. We also use this print zero, which prints the path name of the current file to the standard output. So you can kind of dissect that command and, and figure out what's going on in there. Um, we won't do that here and hit Q to quit that. So uh, that's it. I'll have the little snippet in the description. So you can just copy and paste that. If you like what I'm doing here, consider subscribing. I put out Swift news every Monday and a couple tutorials throughout the week. See you in the next one.